Hi everybody, this is Pastor Miguel. Today I'm gonna to make a, a video regarding demonic assignments. Demonic assignments are basically assignments received by a demon or demons by Satan himself to execute on your life, okay? So the first one I'm gonna talk about is called health issues. And health issues is uh, basically the demons could cause sickness. And some of the sickness uh, are uh, basically caused by demons and they could include generational from one generation to another uh, an illness it could also mean uh, environmental factors that have influenced you or uh, pathogenic in nature okay now not all diseases are caused by demons but some of them are and some of these demons um, that cause disease are uh, and I made a list infirmity death destruction sickness uh, disease um, heart attack or autoimmune disease demons okay so these are the demons that cause diseases these are the ones that usually have a specific assignments to make you sick okay make you ill the next one is uh, mental disturbances and these are demons specifically assigned to cause you to lose your mind uh, some of these demons are called uh, insanity schizophrenia bipolar uh, depression psychosis um, now keep in mind that even though people um, suffer some of these mental illness doesn't necessarily mean that they have demons okay now I would tell you this I, I have worked with people that have demons and they're mentally um, ill and there's a combination of mental illness and uh, demons and you cast the demon out but there's still elements of mental illness in the person and I realized that the, the longer these uh, specific mental um, mental disturbance demons are in, in a person, the more they cause mental damage on a person. So it's, it's better to catch them earlier than later, okay? Because if you spend all your life with mental illness and then you want to go see a deliverance minister, then what happens is the deliverance minister could probably cast that demon out, uh, but there's elements, there's damage that has been caused already uh, within the person mentally that um, the person cannot recover from that, unfortunately, okay? The third one is relational failure, and this is failure. It could be family failure. It could be friendship, social. Uh, it could be also romantic failure, and romantic would be not able to get married and things like that. That's uh, This is an assignment from the devil, and it's to keep you isolated, okay? Um, Th th these are uh, demons usually assigned to these are rejection, abandonment, isolation, and divorce. Okay, they want to keep you pretty much by yourself. Okay, um, the fourth demon uh, assignment it's uh, spiritual isolation, and spiritual isolation is to keep you away from the church, to keep you away from ministry uh, duties in, in a church, to keep you away from other believers uh, from church. Um, you know, for ministry opportunities within the church. Uh, some of these are demons that are assigned to keep you from spiritual in spiritual isolation or unforgiveness, you know, hatred towards or unforgiveness towards a minister that has been, um, that caused, that wronged you in some way. Um, then we have uh, the belief that we don't need other believers uh, to congregate with other believers. That's also uh, a demon. And then abuse, which is uh, basically spiritual abuse, receiving abuse uh, from, a, from a pastor or someone within your congregation, okay? The sixth one is behavioral challenges, and this is usually associated with um, social behavior. Social behavior or behavior with family members, you know, which behavior starts to change within, within you, uh, how you interact with people and things like that. The whole purpose of that is uh, to keep you isolated. Uh, there's certain demons um, associated with this, and this is demon social anxiety, fear, shyness, autism, agoraphobia. Now, some of these conditions, I, once again, uh, could be demonic, but sometimes they're not. Um, you know, um, so keep that in mind. I don't want you thinking that, you know, all these diseases are demonic because they're not. Okay. The seventh one is addiction. And um, addiction is bondage, okay? It's like one of the worst bondages out there because what happens is with addiction is that it keeps you tied to whatever you're addicted to. Um, so 
it, it keep you from having successful successful uh, relationships with fellow Christians, um, and it prevents you from having living the Christian life. Okay, uh, example of demons will be addiction, pornography, uh, gambling, alcohol, drugs. Uh, you know, including um, certain recreation uh, recreational drugs. Uh, uh, there's even a marijuana demon. Um, for all you that don't know this, but uh, marijuana demon uh, usually is um, Shiva. Shiva is the uh, marijuana demon. And we find that a lot of people who smoke marijuana have this demon of Shiva within themselves. And if you Google him, you'll find out that Shiva is the Lord of Ganja. Okay, so that's that's pretty interesting. Anyways, the 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 next one is sexual disoriented and uh, disorientation. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Uh, it's um, it's dealing with your identity, sexual identity. Okay, the whole purpose of these demons is to confuse you. Okay, uh, whether you know and. Uh, you know, it opens to doors to demonization, and some of the demons associated with this is lust and perversion, pornography, and self abuse. Um, the next one is spiritual confusion. Uh, this is very common when people really don't have sound doctrine and they don't know what is real and what's not real, uh, or what's true and what's not true in the scripture. And um, this one, um, these kind of demons are usually they attack people during crisis so like for example if you have a death in the family you start questioning you know god whether he really believes or not um you know if your spouse is unfaithful to you you might start thinking why will god allow this where is god if you have financial problems you may ask yourself the same things this is the whole purpose is for you to uh you know to walk away from the lord okay to to deny the lord okay some of these demons associated with this are doubt, fear, Jezebel, rebellion, and unbelief. Okay. Uh, the next one is marriage and family difficulties. Every time there's family difficulties and marriage issues is a demon. Okay. All right. Keep that in mind. It's a demon and it's usually Jezebel, strife, discord, adultery, and contention. Okay. So please keep that in mind. If you're having family problems, family difficulties, or marriage, there's a demon in your home. Most likely, someone has a demon. Uh, so that person needs to get deliverance, okay? Uh, and the last one is destiny distortion. distortion. And what that is, is um, God has a plan for you. Uh, so the demons wants to hold... Um, your destiny so that you cannot fulfill God's plan. So these demons are basically uh, the ones that I find is destruction, sabotage, destiny stealer, and hindering spirits. Okay? All right. So these are the 11 uh, spirit assignments, uh, spiritual assignments. Um, and so these are the most, of the, the most common assignments we see are these. Of course, the last one will be, um, you know, to kill. They want to kill you. Okay, and that's self-explanatory. Um, if you have any questions, this is going to be all for this video. If you have any questions, you can place them below. And God bless you. Bye-bye.